What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS Ventura Beta 10 to beta testers, and in this video I'll be showing you what is new inside of macOS Ventura Beta 10. But before we get started, I'd just like to show you this new screensaver that is inside of Beta 10. This is probably the biggest feature inside of Beta 10, and it's just a really nice screensaver we have gotten inside of Beta 10. If we take a look at the build number, it is 22A5365D. We have a D at the end of the build number, which indicates that we are getting really close to the final beta of macOS Ventura. The Apple Silicon firmware version also updated to 8419.41.6. Unfortunately, I do not have access to the T2 BridgeOS version, as I do not have an Intel Mac. The update for me came at 1.28 gigabytes on my M1 MacBook Air. After updating, my storage was 17.9 gigabytes. My storage was 17.83 gigabytes inside of Beta 9, so we did get a little jump up to 17.9 gigabytes, which might be a good thing because we might be getting a lot more bug fixes inside of Beta 10. Now we got a couple of bug fixes inside of Beta 10. First and foremost, if we take a look at our shortcuts app right here, Get Current Focus has been fixed. So before Get Current Focus would not work at all, but starting with Beta 10, Get Current Focus will work. Continuity camera for me seems to be a lot more responsive. I'm actually using it right now for my webcam. It did not take a long time for the continuity camera to connect, and it's just overall a lot more responsive. In Beta 9, a couple of people have been having issues with their external displays, so hopefully that get is fixed inside of Beta 10. If you've been having issues with your external displays, please let me know down in the comments down below if it is fixed inside of Beta 10. We also have another issue that we need to look out for. It is alarms may not play when display is asleep for a long period of time. The best way to reproduce this is to use your Mac as one of your alarms and see if it rings. So it will ring sometimes, but after it doesn't ring once, it won't ring at all until the next beta. And we also have an issue to still continue looking out for. It is we are not able to use the back, forward, or pause keys when adjusting music inside of the music app right here. I have not had this yet, so hopefully that is fixed inside of Beta 10. Now I'm gonna run a quick Geekbench test to see if macOS Ventura Beta 10 is better than its predecessor. All right, I got a 1751 on the single core and a 7768 on the multi-core. Comparing it to Beta 9, got, got uh, another 1751 and a 7760. So it is an eight point upgrade over Beta 9 and 1760, 1778, pretty much the same thing. This is the best that we have gotten so far. Hopefully we can get this to go up in the next beta. Now what is next for Apple? I say Beta 11 is next and it's gonna come out on the 11th right here. Then after that, I think we're going to get an Apple event on either the 18th or the 19th. Then we're going to get the release candidate. And the final release will most likely come out on the 24th right here. In the last video, I actually made a prediction right here. So hopefully my prediction is correct. Now, should you install macOS Ventura Beta 10 on your main device? I say, yeah, it's pretty smooth. The only issues I would look out for are the display issues and the widget issues that we got right here. So if you don't use an external display or widget, then it's perfectly fine for you. I would also stay away from the clock app until it is fixed. That is all I have to say about macOS Ventura Beta 10. Really good update to update to. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!